Rockstar Games is widely recognized as one of the greatest video game developers that we've ever seen. GTA V alone has established itself as the most financially successful game of all time, and the company had been making great games long before 2013. While you might know a ton about GTA, Red Dead, and even some of the older hits like L.A. Noir or Bully, Rockstar Games has had one of the craziest runs in the industry, and there are a handful of stories about the company that will blow your mind. On that note, we're not going to waste any more of your time as we spend today's episode of The Countdown covering five things you didn't know about Rockstar Games. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for all the best news and lists in gaming. Now, let's get into it. Number 5. GTA IRL Dan Hauser, the lead writer and producer on many of Rockstar's most popular games, has a pretty incredible story about his time leading up to his co-founding of Rockstar. While spending a long vacation in South America, Hauser claims that he was chased on a beach near Cartagena, Colombia by three strangers wielding machetes and a broken gun. Pretty crazy, right? Apparently, Hauser escaped them by hopping in a taxi that dropped him off at an internet cafe in the city. Next, he checked his email to see a message from his brother asking him to co-found Rockstar Games. Obviously, he took his brother up on the offer, and the rest is history. Now, if you're wondering where Rockstar came up with all those crazy GTA missions, it sounds as if Hauser had some real-life experiences to use for inspiration. Number 4. Austin Powers when you think of Rockstar, the first thing that comes to mind is probably GTA or Red Dead, right? Well, believe it or not, Rockstar is also responsible for publishing two Austin Powers games back in the early 2000s. Austin Powers' O oh Behave and Austin Powers' Welcome to My Underground Lair were both released on the Game Boy Color back in 2001. Both games mixed platforming with a series of video games and were released in between the movies The Spy Who Shagged Me and Goldmember. Sure, both of these games might have been cash grabs made mostly to capitalize on the popularity of the movies, but see where Rockstar is at today, it's pretty hard to believe that they published these games all of those years ago. Number 3. Don't Pee on the Seat Just like news about the company's upcoming games, the Rockstar Games offices are known for being pretty secretive. The publisher is notorious for asking visitors not to take any pictures or even post on social media that they're visiting the offices. According to a journalist named Harold Goldberg, Rockstar doesn't take too kindly to visitors peeing on the toilet seats in the office either. They even have a bathroom placard in the office that supposedly reads, lift the seat before you leak, offenders will be sacrificed. So if you do happen to take a trip to a Rockstar office one of these days, you can just clean up after you're done. It's gross. Number 2. Rockstar Movies So, obviously Rockstar Games is known for making, well, games, of course. What you probably didn't know, though, is that the company is responsible for producing several movies. In 2004, Rockstar produced a film called The Football Factory, which told the fictional story of a bunch of hardcore supporters called Hooligans, who pledged their allegiance to London's Chelsea Football Club. Then, in 2005, the company produced a live-action documentary covering the Los Angeles lowrider scene called Sunday Driver. Rockstar also made several short films, including GTA 2, a live-action movie that served as an intro for the game of the same name, as well as The Introduction, a short film that uses the GTA San Andreas engine, telling the story of the events that led up to the beginning of the 2004 classic. The company also made a Red Dead Redemption short film called The Man from Blackwater, and Rockstar's Max Payne series was adapted into a movie back in 2008. Looks like one of the world's best game developers is pretty handy with a camera too, huh? Number 1. First, AO Game Not only does Rockstar get criticized for making some pretty violent video games, but it's also responsible for releasing the very first AO-rated game in the US. For those of you who don't know, AO stands for adults only, and a game has to be pretty intense and inappropriate to get slapped with one of these bad boys. When the Hot Coffee mod was first discovered in the hidden files of GTA San Andreas, the game's rating was changed to AO by the ESRB. An AO rating pretty much means that the game can't be sold anywhere, and Sony and Microsoft refused to distribute AO rated games altogether. Rockstar had to remove the Hot Coffee mod from the game and redistribute in order to once again receive an M rating. Afterwards, Manhunt 2 was released in 2007, also receiving an AO rating for intense scenes of gore and violence. As a response, Rockstar re-released a new and censored version which removed many of the featured executions, the ability to murder innocent characters, and an in-game rating system that incentivized maximizing brutality. And that covers our list of 5 things you didn't know about Rockstar Games. Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Arcade Cloud News right here on YouTube for more of the best news and lists in gaming. As always, thanks for watching! Hi everyone, Roach here! I'd like to take a moment to let you all know that for the month of June, Arcade Cloud and Arcade Cloud News will be donating 5% of our YouTube AdSense to the Black Lives Matter movement. 
Just by watching ads on our channel, you can help make a difference. If you want to learn more about this cause, check the link in the description. Thank you and take care of yourselves.